also happening this morning. A group of high school students are trying to make amends after a damaging senior prank. Yeah, we're told the students caused thousands of dollars in damage at Crispus Attucks High School. Now they're heading back to the school today for a community service project. Carlos Diaz is live this morning with the details. Carlos, good, good morning. morning. Good morning, Julia. Yeah, w whether you want to call it a, a school prank or downright vandalism, there is no mistaking what's going to be happening later this morning here at Crispus Attucks High School. Around 20 students will return for community service, a project that's punishment for the destruction they are accused of committing last week. Now, some new news yesterday. School police wanted to question one of the students' parents who was there during the prank. Yolanda Wilkins says that she was there to make sure the prank didn't go too far, which it did. But the seniors involved were still banned from graduation after leaving behind thousands of dollars in damage. That's a group picture uh, that I made all of them take. Just to show we didn't do anything. I was actually in the building with them. Make sure it was supervised. I took pictures, took a couple of videos to make sure everything was good. The school says the students wrote on walls, destroyed student records from a locked office, and smeared food all over the floors and carpeting. Some of the students coming out here today to make amends today are some of the most respected students in the senior class, including the class valedictorian and Yolanda Wilkins' own son, senior Zach Owens, who was on that Crispus Attucks state championship basketball team. Now, this is the first step in the students being able to make amends. They were not able to walk during graduation because of these accusations. Once the, uh, the, the, the high school looks good again, they will get their diplomas. That's part of the restoration project, the beautification project here at Christmas Attucks High School. Then, Julia. All right, well, you hate that it sounds like they are kind of a group of good kids that just maybe made uh, some terrible choices there uh, right at the end of the school year. Thanks, Carlos.